Hey guys, Everything Technology here, and I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now, and I finally got to it. This is what's on my MacBook Pro. Alright, so if you didn't already know, this MacBook right here, which is an early 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch base, is what powers my entire setup. I use it to edit my videos not only on my setup but also on the go, and also use it as my main school work laptop. This is the reason why I invested a lot of my money is because it does everything I need it to do. For instance, when I'm either traveling, going to school, or even in my workstation, I have all my work with me at all times compared to having two separate machines, like a PC for editing and a laptop for school and traveling. But anyway, opening up this laptop, the first thing you're presented with is my wallpaper. I think it goes well with the black D-brand skin and the red Supreme logo. I don't know, it just looks cool honestly. But anyway, moving on, let's first take a look at the dock. Here I have all the main apps that I use the most. By the way, I'll have everything I mentioned in this video linked down in the description. So the first couple of apps we have are mostly stock apps such as Finder, Mail, and Siri, which I use way less than I expected, even though I was excited to hear what's coming on Mac OS. Next up we have Chrome, which is the main browser I use. Safari has way better in brand management, but I love Chrome since it's synced up with all my other devices. Moving on is iMyPhone. This is an app that I recently found that allows you to free up space on your iOS devices with literally just the press of a button. And it's not like any of the other apps that you see on the App Store that claim that they can like free up your space and stuff like that but don't end up working. This actually works and I personally have tested it out. So if you're rocking a 16 gig iPhone like me or any other iOS device that gives you that not enough storage warning, definitely check the software out. Now moving on we have Spotify and this in my opinion is the best music streaming service period and that's coming from someone who's used both Apple and Google Play Music. By the way check out my public playlist if you're a Spotify user already. Next up is Android File Transfer which is self explanatory. Then we have Logic which is actually the software I use to produce my beats. I actually recently switched from GarageBand to this because I needed something a little bit more professional. But anyways, you definitely check out my SoundCloud if you're looking for some dope background music. Um, and if you use it in one of your videos, be sure to tweet me out. After Logic is Audacity, this is what I use for all my voiceovers like the one you're listening to right now. Moving on, we have Final Cut Pro. This is actually one of the main reasons I'm using a Mac because Final Cut is greatly optimized for Mac OS and I can easily fly through my 4K footage. Next is Motion. Honestly, I downloaded this thinking I was going to use it, but I don't. And now we have all the Adobe applications that I use, Photoshop for photoshopping of course, After Effects for graphics such as my intro and outro, and Lightroom which I recently started using since I'm now getting a little bit more into photography, definitely check out my Instagram page. Anyway, next is Purcell. This allows me to easily manage tracking for all the packages I'm receiving. uTorrent is self-explanatory, but if you don't know what it is, then it's probably best that you just keep it at that. Lastly is Apollo, which actually works in conjunction with a product from Promise Technology that connects through Ethernet to your router and allows you to back up your files through the cloud to the built-in 4TB hard drive that can be accessed anywhere as long as you have internet connection since they have an app for both Android and iOS and also Mac and Windows. And that's gonna do for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, then be sure to leave me a thumbs up down below and also comment down below if you have any feedback. And check me out on my different social media sites. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at EverythingTech5. And you can find me on Snapchat at VictorCommon1 or you can scan my snap code right above here. And if you like to see more content like this, then be sure to hit that subscribe button or you can just click my face right here and it should automatically subscribe for you. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.